What's up guys, this is YK404 back with you and today I'm going to help you understand how you can complete the shadow challenge. So let's dive in straight up. We're starting with our queen up top. We're going to drop a Cocoloon and then the blimp behind the Cocoloon. The aim is to rage up the Yeti blimp on the top of the Eagle artillery. So it takes down the Eagle. It also takes down the Multi Inferno and lures the clan castle troops for us. As soon as we're done with the Yeti Bomb, we drop the healers on our Queen. And then you can rage up your Queen if you see the Headhunter attacking your Queen. Also, you can freeze uh, the Headhunter. Both ways work perfectly fine. I dropped two balloons on top of the right side Archer Tower. If you noticed, that also uh, took down the Tesla just to be safe so that that Archer Tower never targets our Unicorn or our healers. Now, the Poison dropped for the... Um, Lava Hound and the minion dropped to help clean up. We're funneling using our sneaky goblins on the storage and we also wall broke at the scattershot compartment. We are sending our king, our warden and our royal champion all together towards the town hall. That is at least the plan for us to take down the town hall. Now we're funneling for the king on top of the cannon using some hogs and some balloons that we have left. Queen will eventually come down to the uh, single inferno compartment or near the tunnel compartment. With the king's ability, with the headhunters, we are using the warden's ability so that the headhunters can take down the enemy heroes, melt through their face, uh, you know, in literally no time. King takes out all of these defenses and stuff. Royal champion goes in to the base. Royal champion's core job here is to take down that single inferno and the town hall. Now, by this time, you should be crossing the 50% and the town hall should be awake. Keep freezing, keep invisibling your royal champion, do whatever is needed to take down the town hall. Now, the royal champion at this point can go down, not a problem. Your healers will eventually switch back to your queen and you can start your hog riders all together. And while starting your hog riders, start your cleanup as well. Just behind the hog riders, drop your wizards and stuff, whatnot. Um, drop your rage wherever needed. I usually like to rage my hog riders at this point in this area specifically. Uh, doesn't matter whether your queen goes right or left, you will eventually have just one scatter shot compartment remaining at the end. And then, yeah, that invisibility spell is not needed, so let's just swag it. Let's pop the queen's ability to break through the wall a little bit quicker. And your hogs, your queens, your cleanup all should be able to take down the whole base. That's Basically, the job of um, that queen and the hog riders is to clean up the rest of the base because most of or most part of the base is going to be taken care of by your king and warden Sui. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you again in the next one.